This video is about FUVES experimental set on the helium neon laser. You see now how the final setup can look like and the laser is working. In this video we will not show in detail the different experiments you can do from this point onwards, but we will show in detail how you get the system to this point. So step by step how to install the different components, align them and adjust them so that you finally can start the laser process. Starting with the empty optical bench, we will first mount alignment laser on the left side of this bench. We also mount the diaphragm that are pre-adjusted here at FUVE. The one labeled left diaphragm direct in front of the alignment laser with the label pointing direction to the laser. The other diaphragm on the other end. With the left and the right diaphragm in place, we can now connect the alignment laser to its power supply and switch the green laser on. Next, you loosen the six grub screws and the adjustment screws of the green laser. We need to do this to be able to adjust the alignment laser so that it points through the left diaphragm undisturbed. Now that the green laser is adjusted that it points through the first diaphragm, we need to adjust it further so that at the same time it can point through the second diaphragm. Then the alignment laser will be exactly parallel to our optical bench. We need for this the adjustment screws as before. Now that you adjusted the green alignment laser so that its beam runs exactly parallel to the optical bench, you can fasten the adjustment screws and also tighten the grub screws on it so that it's firmly in place. Next step will be to mount the actual laser tube onto the optical bench. We will now align it so that the actual alignment laser runs directly through it without touching its walls. Before we can mount the right mirror on the optical bench we need to pre-assemble it. Please make sure to use the correct mirror with the correct orientation Place it in the holder and fix it firmly. When we have done this, we can replace the right diaphragm that we don't need anymore by this mirror. We move this right mirror now close to the laser tube Fix the slide mounter firmly and adjust it with these two screws until the pilot laser is reflected into itself and passes again through the first diaphragm. Now that the right mirror is in place, we take the left mirror, place it on the optical bench close to the laser tube. And for adjustment here, we use the back reflection of this mirror onto the first diaphragm. Again, we make sure that this reflection goes through the central hole of this diaphragm as undisturbed as possible. Now we adjusted all optical components to the point where we are ready to switch on the actual power supply of the laser tube. But before we do that, 
we make sure that we have clean surfaces where it is important. This is for one, the windows that form the resonator and the Brewster windows on the actual tube. Please follow the instructions in the manual for cleaning processes. I uh, prepared already everything I need and proceed with cleaning of this Brewster window. Now that all the important surfaces on the laser are cleaned and the optical elements lined up as they should be, we are ready to start the power supply for the laser tube. I assume that you connected all cables correctly already. You start the tube and set the current to, let's say, about 6.2 milliamps. Now the laser is not on. That's not a problem. That would be surprising because the fine adjustment is still missing. We do this by using the screws only on this left resonator mirror. We don't move them around just in an arbitrary fashion. We try to scan the area, the angle area, very systematically so we don't miss a point. And we only use the green laser here as indication to see where we are. But already now we found the point where the red helium neon laser is on. From this point onwards, the green alignment laser is just disturbing. And now we have only our helium neon laser. To make even a more precise adjustment of the laser, it is better to use not only the naked eye, but to place a silicon detector in the external beam and take the reading for the amps that it measures as a value to optimize it further. This green alignment laser does just interfere with this measurement now, so I switch it off because it done, has done its job. So further alignment can be, for example, the alignment of the position of the laser tube itself or the mirrors that form the resonator. So you saw in this video all the steps that are necessary to start up the laser process with previous helium neon laser. So just starting up the process. From here on you will really start to do experiments that give you data that you can analyze. But I'm sure from here onwards the manual will be enough for you.